Hello everyone, this is Jag. Well, have you ever brought home strawberries and a couple of days later, they went bad? Or you brought home raspberries and you thought you'll eat them the next day and they had mold on them. Or the bananas became ripe so fast that you have to throw them out. So in this video, I'm going to cover how you can keep your fruit fresh for a really long time. By long time in fruit terms, I mean one to three weeks. So let's get started. Let's first start with berries. Now this includes blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, and any other kind of berries. Mostly blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries, they come in these clamshell containers with these holes. Now the easiest and simplest way to keep your berries fresh for a long time is to first check for any berries that might have mold on it or any berries that are squished. If there are any berries that have mold on it or berries that are squished and they have juices coming out of it, they will also cause other berries to go bad very quickly. Berries need to be stored with very low humidity and very low moisture. That is why you want to make sure there are no molded or no squished berries in the container. The best way to do so is to first take out all of the berries out of the container and then pick out any berries that have gone bad. This is because we do not want to introduce any moisture. Moisture is the enemy when storing berries. Line the same container with some paper towel and then add the fresh berries in. Close the container and then add the container to the fridge. Blueberries in fridge like this will last up to three weeks, blackberries for two weeks, and raspberries have a much shorter life, they will last up to one week. For cherries, the process is exactly the same as berries. Next up, apples. Now the ideal storage temperature for storing apples is between 30 degrees Fahrenheit to 35 degrees Fahrenheit, which is negative one to two degrees Celsius. Unlike other fruit that needs to be stored in dry condition with very low moisture and humidity, apples actually love moisture. They love moisture up to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. You can keep your apples and pears on a counter for up to one week if you want to eat them fresh right off the counter. However, if you do want to prolong the life of apples, you can store the apples in a plastic bag with few holes in the bag. This way any acylene gas produced by apples can escape. Make sure there aren't any bad apples in the bunch because the saying is true, one bad apple can make other apples go bad very quickly. Store the plastic bag in the fridge and even better if you can store it in a container with high humidity. Individually wrap the apples in a damp paper towel and then place them in a container and add the container to a high humidity box of the fridge. This way apples will last from one to two months. Next up, watermelon. Now I have a video on how to pick a perfect watermelon, so check that out if you're interested. Cut the watermelon in half. Now you can store the half of the watermelon by wrapping it in saran wrap and storing it in the fridge. It's easier to store half of a watermelon in a fridge rather than storing the full watermelon. The plastic prevents the watermelon from drying up. You can also cut the watermelon into slices and then use an airtight container to add all the slices into the container. Close the container well and then add it to the fridge. Now this airtight container will prevent the watermelon slices from drying up. You can do the same with half cut cantaloupe and cantaloupe slices as well. Next up, bananas. Now you can simply keep the bananas or hang the bananas on your kitchen counter. If you buy bananas that are not already ripe, bananas will keep on the kitchen counter for up to two weeks. Bananas will naturally ripen over time. Now if they get overripe like these, you can actually use these to make banana bread. You can peel these overripe bananas, put the bananas in a Ziploc bag, and then freeze these bananas until you're ready to make the banana bread. Always buy your bananas at different ripening stage. Buy some yellow ones and also buy some green ones. While you're busy eating the yellow ones, the green ones will ripen up and become yellow as well. This way you make less trips to the grocery store. Next up, grapes. Now usually you will get your grapes in plastic containers like this from the grocery store. If you do, you can just keep them in these plastic containers and store them in the fridge and they will last for two to three weeks. Just make sure your plastic containers are really well ventilated. These plastic containers have these holes which allows the air to pass through and it cuts down on the humidity for fruit. They are great for storing fruit. You can save these kind of plastic containers whenever you get them from a grocery store or you can buy similar containers that are really well ventilated as well. Keep your grapes in these containers in a fridge and grapes will last up to three weeks. You can use these same plastic containers to store strawberries as well. No matter what, do not wash your strawberries before you store them. Only wash your strawberries when you're ready to eat them because if you wash them before storing them, they will get waterlogged and they will go bad real quick and they'll develop mold as well. So always store your strawberries in a dry stage. Do not store your strawberries in an airtight container either. Store them in a really well ventilated container like these because if the strawberries are subjected to moisture or humidity, strawberries will go bad really quickly and they will develop mold. Strawberries stored in plastic containers like this that are really well ventilated will remain fresh for up to a week. 
Next up, oranges. Now, oranges are really easy to store so that they last for a long time. Do not wash your oranges before storing. Just place the oranges in the low humidity box of your fridge and oranges will stay fresh for up to a month. Next up, kiwis. Now keep the kiwis on your kitchen countertop until they are ripe. Now the way you can tell whether the kiwis are ripe is to hold them in your palm and press them on just a little. If they have a little bit give to them, that means they are ripe. Unripe kiwis are hard to touch and will not have any give. After the kiwis are ripe, add the kiwis to a low humidity box of your fridge. You can also wrap the kiwis individually in a paper towel and the kiwis will last much longer because the paper towels will keep the kiwis dry. Next, pomegranates. Now you can store your pomegranates just on a kitchen countertop for up to two weeks. If you're going to be consuming these pomegranates in next two weeks, it's better to just leave them on a countertop. However, if you do want to prolong the life of these pomegranates, you can add them to a low humidity box of your fridge. This way, the pomegranates will stay fresh for one to two months. Next, tomatoes. Now, tomatoes are really fruit and not a vegetable. You can keep tomatoes on a kitchen counter for up to two weeks. However, if you want to store tomatoes for longer, store them in a refrigerator. They can last up to a month or even longer in a refrigerator. Just place the tomatoes in an open container in a refrigerator and do not seal them. I also have a video on how to keep vegetables fresh for a really long time. So check that out if you're interested. If you're finding information in this video really useful, consider subscribing and turn on notifications for more value-packed videos. Next, avocados. Now, avocados are also considered fruit and not a vegetable. When you bring avocados home from the grocery store, Take the avocados out of the wrapper, and if the avocados are not ripe, you can just store them on your kitchen counter next to fruit. Keep checking your avocados. The best way to tell if they are ripe is if the stem falls over. So if you wiggle on this stem and it doesn't come out, the avocado is not ready yet. However, if you wiggle on the stem and the stem does come out and it's brown, the avocado is ripe and ready. And now you can place the ripe avocados in the fridge. Ripe avocados do not stay fresh on kitchen counter for long. Cut avocado turns brown and goes bad in just few hours. If you only happen to eat half the avocado and you want to store the other half, do not peel the avocado. Wrap the remaining half of the avocado in a plastic wrap or a saran wrap and place it in a fridge and the avocado will remain fresh for two days. Next up, mangoes. Now you can keep mangoes right on your kitchen countertop. You have to keep a close eye on the mangoes to make sure when they ripen, you move them to the fridge. The best way to check if the mangoes are ripe is to press on the mangoes. And if the mango has a little bit of give to them, that means they are ripe. Do not let your mango become overripe or they will shrink and shrivel like this one. Once the mangoes are ripe, you can move the mangoes to the fridge and they will remain fresh for eating for up to seven days. The process is the same with pineapples as well. A ripe pineapple will have a little bit give when you squeeze on it. The process is also the same for peach, nectarines and plums. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another video. If you find this video useful, consider subscribing and turn on the... No. <coughs>